finally the third game. Hello everybody it's me Keonvids here. And today we are diving into FNAF 3's scrap content. Cool right? Found in the game files, there are a lot of leftovers of the puppet's sprites from the second game, including its hallucination renders and the unused close-up image. The sprites can also be found in the troll game's files. Like from the previous first and second game, there is an unused lives mechanic. There is a small bar that says lives and a pixel stick figure of a person with their arms outstretched. Why does Scott keep adding this but taking it out? In two of the Steam screenshots before the game's release, the monitor map is unimplemented with vent paths along with both the play audio and map toggle button. However, when the audio button is used in the final game, a set of dots appears on the screen during the cooldown period before the player can use the audio again, suggesting that the feature was likely implemented, just concealed behind the dots for the screenshots. Similar to two previous games, some leftovers from the demo are found in the full version's files. The demo ext text file is taken from the extended edition of the second game's demo and eventually can be found within the troll version's game files. Upon initial release of the original mobile edition, the pre-menu screen shows the image of Springtrap with his mouth hung open while staring down. The image was ultimately removed when Click Team LLC released a full remastered update patch for the game. Much like Freddy from the first game. There is a text texture for the game's scrapped seventh night. It is possible to find an unused button with the text seal vent on it. This button was likely going to be used to seal the vents but in the final game it was replaced with double-clicking the vent camera. Night 2's unused text file when starting this level was alternatively colored green for unknown reasons. Well guys although this video was short, I still enjoyed making it. FNAF 4 will be even longer I hope. 